The Surface Freeze tool, which is new in 3D Coat version 3.2, is hands down my absolute favorite tool in 3D Coat now. It's uh, essentially a masking tool, and um, let's just show you what it does. Okay, so select the Surface Freeze tool, and it will then let you paint uh, with an intensity from 0 to 100 uh, for masking. So let's pick an area on here. I think uh, I think right here will do just fine. And um, what I want to do is mask off this little area. And uh, so let's actually turn the intensity up so we know it's at least 100. So you can uh, you can fade the areas as well. Uh, let's turn it down. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. It's a slightly lighter color. You can see there. So it will be affected um, let's go ahead and draw on it. Over the here will not be affected because it's 100% masked. And this area right here will be slightly affected while the rest will of course be 100% affected. So uh, keep that in mind when you're using this. It's a great, great tool. I love it. And uh, also keep in mind that it works with everything in the e-panel. So if I select draw with dots it will do that. If I select uh, place a dot there or drag, uh, you know, I forget what that one's called, but uh, drag circle, I believe, or just the drag tool, yes, uh, because it works with uh, all the pin alphas there. And um, of course, it works with uh, the curves as well. Pretty snazzy. I do say so myself. All right, let's undo all those, and uh, let's select this one here. Now, what I want to do is negate this. So I'm going to hold Control and make sharp edges here, and I want to follow these contours of this panel. So we'll do something like this. Okay, oops, uh, wrong, wrong thing. Let's just chop it up in parts here. All right, so double click, holding control. So encircle that area, hold control, encircle this one, double click and hold control. Same thing over here, and so on, and so forth. Right, now if you're familiar with Photoshop, if you hit Control Shift I, it will invert your selection, and if you hit Control D, it will deselect. But I, I don't want to do that just yet, because um, well, I want to use this right here. But before I actually go ahead and uh, do anything with this, I want to smooth out these edges just a bit so that it's not so rough looking. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to. Um, Let's see here. Let's turn on that mode. This mode allows me to draw with a uh, constant depth and size. And uh, let's use the rapid tool here and uh, go and draw in this area. Smooth it out a little bit. All right. So now we have a. That's uh, maybe not high enough. A raised panel here. out again. Okay, now if we hit Control D, you'll see we have ourselves a little raised panel there. And uh, let's do something else real quick. Uh, one more demonstration on this tool. You could use the uh, Surface Freeze tool again with uh, Pen Alpha. So let's, let's mix it up a little bit here. Let's select a couple different Pen Alphas at the same time by holding uh, Control uh, two should do the trick, right? Let's uh, let's turn off symmetry for this. Let's do a little battle damage, or something like that. Uh, let's just do it right up here in this area, and uh, we're gonna drag this out. So use the drag uh, tool from the E panel, or drag drawing method from the E panel, and let's. Let's do that. 
Let's draw a couple here. And turn down the intensity a bit so we get some lighter colored action. Right, okay, that's uh, that's looking okay. And it doesn't look like that worked there, so let's go ahead and put one of these in here too. Uh, something like this. Let's turn up the intensity a little bit. Okay, that should do the trick. Let's hit uh, Control shift i to invert. And uh, it looks like it didn't pick up all of that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just hold the control. Turn up the intensity a bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Back over here with uh, the dots. Right. Drag them out a little bit. Cool. Cool, that's looking uh, looking good. We should have some sculpted battle damage here in just a minute. You could also use this for rust or what have you. Pretty much anything, really. And uh, we'll use the variable pin pressure for size and uh, depth. And again, uh, let's go with a rapid. Okay and turn down the intensity. In fact, let's just use the draw tool. And let's go in. Ooh, that's way too much. Turn down the intensity. Let's just key a value and let's go uh, 5%. In fact, that might be too much, but uh, we can smooth that out. Okay. Right. So I just extruded that out. Now let's push some of that in, holding control. Having some of it come out, uh, we'll give it a little uh, rust damage effect as well. Okay, let's hit Control D. That will deselect and give us a little view of that. And uh, there you go. Another example of that tool in action uh, for voxel sculpting. It that is the surface freeze tool. Uh, you can also use it with uh, well masks and materials. So actually, uh, one more demonstration. It it does work with uh, max, uh, masks, as I just pointed out. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put one in here. Um, sure, that'll work. So let's invert it. Hmm, I don't know if I want to use that one. That's not quite what I'm looking for. All right, that one should do the trick. Let's invert that. And now let's go with the surface freeze tool. And, ooh, maybe not so intense. And in fact, let's change our alpha over here. Right, okay. So let's turn off that mask now. And you can see we've painted uh, a little texture on there with a mask. So now we can go in and uh, let's just invert it. I like to affect. All right, let's paint that again. I like to affect smaller areas uh, instead of the whole area, which is what I was just doing. So, I'll, oops, let's turn that intensity down and hold control. And uh, you can get something like that going, smooth some of it out so it's not so rough, and uh, add a little more. Kind of dot it even. Just tap on your uh, stylus there. Okay. Now let's turn off that mask. Sure enough. Now we can do the same thing again. Go in, hold control, and uh, you can affect these areas here. And we'll take a look at this in just a moment. Right, hit control D, and uh, there you go. Another way to use the uh, surface freeze tool with masks.